Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you today. I want us to think a little bit about something that's been heavy on my heart, and want to get into it by thinking about a particular psalm we know very well. It begins with these words, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Those words are probably some of the most familiar from our Bible, a very comforting psalm from Psalm 23. You know, in fact, I'd like to ask you when we're finished here, pick up your Bible and read that entire psalm. Let those words just wash over you anew. But think about it for a moment with me. The shepherd's presence provides what? Peace, protection, and provision for the sheep that are in his care. His vigilant attention allows the sheep to not want. And we hear a similar thought in the New Testament when we go to the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 10, verse 11, when we hear Jesus say, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus also uses that familiar image of the shepherd to describe both his ministry and ultimately the way he would become our Savior. But in his imaging of the shepherd, we also capture the understanding of God's love. For God's love tells us that God is very caring, nurturing, protecting, providing. God's always looking out for and wanting the best for his flock. Perhaps Sevilla Martin captures this thought in a, in a wonderful way when at the turn of the 20th century, she wrote this beloved hymn, God will take care of you. It says, Be not dismayed what e'er betide. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. You know, my pastor's heart, like that of a shepherd, has been heavy in recent weeks. As more of our own church members have come down with the COVID virus, and it's really hit home this time, and it's hit home for many of you also, as you know, family and friends and neighbors and co-workers that all have now been impacted by this COVID virus. My heart's also been heavy as I'm understanding more and more the long-term effects of isolation that are impacting students and our seniors. And yes, my heart is heavy as a church we seek to what do no harm and yet still seek to find ways to genuinely connect with one another. So what do we do with a heavy heart when a pastor wants to shepherd and care and love and yet finds these challenges um, so strong? Well, today I want to challenge you to do something with the me. Dee's the card writer in our family, and it's been Lord's been working on her too. And she once again has started to write a couple of notes every day to let folks know we're thinking about them especially if she knows that they're facing a particular challenge in their lives. And each afternoon, I've been taking time to pick up the phone and to call folks that I know are going through some situations, to connect with them, to listen to them, and, and to just let them know that they're not alone in their struggles. But I think we can all do this. Whether you write a note or make a call, we can all reach out, folks. So what I want you to do is think about folks that you know, folks that are on the prayer list, shut-ins, folks living alone, elderly relatives or neighbors, and reach out to them. I think as we do, we're being like a good shepherd. We're helping to care for the sheep. My friends, you become God's love with skin on it, and you're helping to shepherd the flock. Your help by a note or a call will give hope and encouragement to those in need. A little tender, loving care goes a long way in these challenging times. Yes, God will take care of us. And you know what? Most of the time, that care comes through you and me. So I thank you in advance for helping to spread a little of God's love 
and care to all of his flocks as you reach out to those in need, whether it be through a call, a note, or some other way. Please, let's just show our love, offer a little hope and a little encouragement to those in need. Amen. Uh, a couple of announcements to share with you. Um, we found that the need was so great um, that we are going to, again, collect items for do-over ministry uh, for the month of February. Uh, Amy's asked us to especially focus on socks and gloves for February. Um, the other items that we collected last month, coats, sleeping bags, hats, scarves, boots, backpacks, flashlights, and batteries, AA and AAA, those are also needed. But let's really see if we can't collect socks and gloves. Know that your donations are greatly needed and appreciated. Uh, the Wesley Preschool uh, announced their ongoing fundraiser for this year. Check out What a Crock for an easy, no-hassle crock pot meals delivered right to your door. Complete information on the fundraiser can be found in our weekly bulletin announcements and on the Wesley Preschool Facebook page. Dee and I made our first order and it was really simple. It arrived in just three business days. We can't wait to try our first meal. And finally, we continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday at nine o'clock on both Facebook and YouTube. Well, let me close this time with a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Loving God, sometimes we become numb over this past year as this pandemic just drags on. Let us not grow weary or careless in reaching out to others that are lonely or facing a challenge in their lives. Help each of us to find a way to share some love with those in need. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.